So it's like every Valentine's Day I've had, I think, has ended in kind of a Sounds like you got the OCD, like a sour, show. like a sour feeling. You know, at the end of every Valentine's Day, and I'm not saying like it always starts out with good. It's good, you know. Yeah, what I mean? You go to some place, yeah. you get dressed up, you fucking you drop the money, and then like, yeah, it, you know, it's always at that point. Why is that? It's always at the point where the guy drops the money that things that that all of a sudden like there's a the, looming that's question. That's the apex. That's the apex, and it starts to go down from there. Right. That's it's the because the after the money's dropped, then yeah. there's this looming question mm-hmm. of what do I get for this dinner? From, you know what I mean? From the like, man's perspective. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, like, and and from her, do I owe him something for that money he just dropped on this dinner? Like, well, do you think that's uniform? Because like, I, I don't think it is. I don't well, think that's uniform. There's nothing uniform today. Yeah. Today, a woman could like fucking reach into her fucking jock strap and pull out a goddamn fat, thick wallet, you know, mm-hmm. and pay with a with three twenties. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. it's just that's a. I mean, generally speaking, a man would be the one pulling out the fat wallet, but nowadays, it's just yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's it's scattered everywhere. You know what I mean? You know, she scattered might be everywhere. the one grabbing your ass on the way out the door. That's just. The way it is nowadays, you know what I mean? I mean, that's that's more harmless, though, man. Because, you know what I'm saying? If she likes your ass, she likes your ass. <laughs> you know? uh, yeah. Okay, but uh, do you think, like, when Capone was walking out of his, like, freaking club, you know what I mean? Like, Al Capone? Yeah, Al Capone, mm-hmm. when he's walking out of his club, and he slaps a lady on the ass. You can see that. Right. Do you think, like, some ladies were walking up to him and slapping him on the ass? No, it's a power move for men. A lot of men, believe me, okay. don't touch my ass. Okay, I got you, but see, the thing is, though, like, you kind of twisted that away from the original point that you were trying to make because, like, you're, you're like, the way I'm, at least the way I'm ascertaining what you're saying, you like, talking about Al Capone come out and slap a bitch on the ass, like, he ain't even with her. These just, you know, all these chicks that I have access to because I'm Al fucking Capone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's his bar. Right, 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 right. But see, like, what we were originally discussing was, you know, oh. two people were out on some sort of Valentine's Day date. Right, right. That's not the same. I'm just saying. I'm just pick, I'm just taking the quintessential like man, a manly man, and how how you would think that would happen, okay. as opposed to this situation. A lot of men, a lot of men okay. don't like it when a girl touches their ass. I mean, I I, I wouldn't know because you know that ain't something I ain't never had a problem with. You know You're too saying? close to the gas. Get away from the ass. Uh, you know. Uh, whatever. I'm but, about to faint. Don't but, touch but, my but, taint. But even at, even at the same time though, like what's to say? You know what Al Capone's relationship was with women that he took home. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he had no problem with them grabbing on his ass while he was tearing that joint up. All right, all right, we're we're fucking way off. We're way that's off. what I'm saying. Uh, you know the the initial idea was not to get stuck on Al Capone, but we are where we are now. Al Capone, what a gangster! <laughs> gangster shit. What a gangster. Do you think? What do you think Al Capone did for his girl on Valentine's Day? Hmm. God damn. Uh, probably. Uh, pro- probably not breakfast. Probably brunch. You know, a very crowded brunch. You know what I'm saying? Or or a very exclusive brunch. Uh, ladies, comment below. Would you like your man to take you into a bathtub full of money? Would that make you feel objectified or rich? All right. And speaking of which, never try to dive into a pool of money Spruce like McDuck. Spruce McDuck. Yeah. Because <laughs> you will die. Yeah, it'll, it'll hurt you. Yeah. Yeah. Possibly break Physic- your neck. Physics doesn't work that way. Yeah, you will not go in yeah. it like water. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we haven't even begun to fight. We have not even begun to fight. And speaking of fighting, no fighting on Valentine's Day, Please which don't. brings up a little bit, which brings up a topic, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, that causes a lot of couples to fight and a lot of friendships to end. Should your friend, me and you, mm-hmm. contact each other's girlfriends on the side, just texting, saying hi, and stuff like that? Okay. Well, I mean, well, just saying hi or discussing shit because, like, saying hi, only like, saying hi. Like, hey, how you doing? Just checking in. Happy birthday, something like that. Happy birthday, I could see, but just checking in to say hi, like you know, like I don't, I don't like I, I don't know who just checks in to say hi unless you know they they mean something more to you. You understand what I'm saying? Right, right. Well, I mean, in that even even on like a 
See, here's the thing. I don't think I would ever text, like, even to say anything. Like, mm-hmm. happy birthday or any of that shit. Mm-hmm. I think if I saw my friend's girlfriend on her birthday, yeah, then I'd say happy birthday. Like, mm-hmm. if they would fit, you know, if we were together. Yeah. But, like, I mean, that being said, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, social media has, you know, has a different dynamic when it comes to that stuff, depending on what people post in their information. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know... Little, little might, DMs. I, it's okay to post. If you see somebody scrolling you through your feed, yeah, that's fine. Post, hey, you know what I mean? That shit's whack. I would fucking throw that shit right back in the water. Right. Drop that right. loser and get yourself a hero. Right, but you know, you know, sometimes uh, there are cases where your ability to post is limited. Right, but then going into the DMs is another issue. Because what here's, here's, my, here's my end game that kind of fucks, fucks my head up about yeah. a situation like that. Go for it. Um... You and the boys sit around locker room talk. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just bullshitting, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Sh- mm-hmm. shenanigan mm-hmm. with each other, getting smacked and everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, knowing that each one of you is going to be going home to your girlfriend. There's no going off with another chick or anything. But we're just chilling, shenaniganing, and I and, and I tell you something that is private to me that mm-hmm. may be a secret mm-hmm. that I don't want anybody to know, but I tell you. Right. And then you, because you're such good friends with my girlfriend, you feel obligated to help your friend. Right. Like, like it's almost like that would trump. That would trump our friendship, depending on who's being hurt. Like yeah. then you would then Cause you because because it's, it's, it's a breach of trust. Right. That yeah. because because what it what it what it means is that our relationship wouldn't be that of friends. It would be just that of people. I'm here. Yeah. You're here. Yeah. And whoever does anything, I'm gonna have the back of no one except, you know what I mean. When when it comes to friends, you're like, no, you co-sign on things and yeah. shit like that. Like, yeah, yes. he was with me at, y- the, yes. at the highest yes. level, right? But yes, but you should also, you know, what I mean, when situations like that arise with your friends, when you know they're doing wrong, you need to check them. You need to check them, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause like, cause like, for example, if you can manage to keep friends after you check them. Cause you, I'll give you I'll give you a real world example. All right, so you know, let's say let's say a group of guys hanging out or whatever, whatever and shit. Um, they all got wives, or girlfriends, or whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? At the bar, you know, have a couple of drinks or whatever. You know, you know, after you have a couple of drinks, you get loose, loose lipped, all that shit, right? One of them start, <laughs> one of them starts flirting with a chick. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like. If your bond with your boys is that strong, you should not feel some type of way if you do if you do comes in and be like, yo, bro, what the fuck are you doing, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, Melissa's at home. What the fuck are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, checking him. You know, like he shouldn't be offended by that because you know that he got a wife or a girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? And more than likely, you probably met him if y'all tight like that. Right. So you you would have to stand in front of her also and live that fucking life. Well, see what this okay. What this really is, it's a big magnifying glass. So this is what this is to make people look internally and externally at the people they know, as it should. So, so when you when you tell me that, yeah, Melissa's at home. Yeah, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. That's a good friend, right? Yeah. The only person who would resist that is somebody who has not, who who does not desire who desires uh the the dark arts the dark side of life yeah like i'll, I'll like they, it, they want to play basically i'll put it yeah i'll put yeah. it to you like this I got you. the um a vampire okay you take a vampire who's like two thousand years old a old vampire okay and he's refined in his ways he's managed to get his a, a connect at the blood bank you know what i mean he's very low-key mm. nobody knows he's a vampire mm. And he doesn't hurt anybody anymore because the the world is the way it is. You can now go to the blood bank, yeah. right, and get whatever type of blood he wants. Yeah. So, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a nice typo today. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. So that is that is the refined friend, the one who's telling you, calm down. Mm-hmm. And you're talking to a youngling vampire. Mm. Who still has that feeding frenzy? They're in a feeding frenzy, I got you. and they want to feed. They just I, I, want to I, eat. I got you. They, right. they, they, they desire more the feeling of a kill mm. and flesh tearing under their teeth yeah. than they do the capture, the the future of being a vampire and having your powers or whatever the case may be. Okay, they care more about now mm. and just fulfilling that desire the dark the dark arts the dark rage yeah. that you that they feel that they want yeah so like i i see that 
when you see these people who resist good intentioned comments and and steering away from bad things mm -hmm. if they resist that yeah. then like it's up to you to decide if you even want to be near them or yeah. around them yeah. anymore yeah 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 you know what I mean? yeah at that point that there's a choice for that person calling the shit out has to make right yeah. right now if you're the if you're the head vampire you actually may have to kill this guy because he might blow up the spot there's vampires you know what i mean by, by like being crazy so in, in a way it's way more ethical for everybody involved if you stop this guy from being crazy you know what i mean like because yeah. Yeah, because because there's there's a bigger litany of problems that could come from it. Exactly, it goes too far. Yeah. We all do things. We all yeah. you know get drunk, yeah. smoke, not, some none weed, of us, none do of us, like none of us perfect. Not one of us perfect. Right, right. Yeah. Well, that being said, though, because nobody's perfect, people are going to make mistakes. So, should, isn't it safer to separate your friends from your love interest it's just so that like that person never decides I'm going to take your this mistake or something you said over here. And then even casually mentioning something over here turns into ex an explosion over here. I mean... A five-hour phone fest that ends and I have a headache, I gotta hang up. You well, know I mean, what I mean? Well, I mean like, yeah, I mean, well, I mean, the potential the potential for it is always there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, we can't predict the future, so who's to say what would come from it down the road? You know what I'm saying? But, like... But if you fear this... It's because you know you're still a youngling vampire. You still want to feed. You still you you have not had enough. There is still a desire that has not yet been met. Yeah. You know, like a yeah. people I mean, like that. There's really at that point. There, honestly, there's nothing you can do. Yeah. You have to let them free. Let them go, and their desire will either consume them or they may be able to reach it. Who knows yeah. what they can do? But yeah. you know what I mean. But as far as, but but they would have to be exiled, like sent away. So what I'm saying is, like a person who fears you helping them or you pointing them down the right path, yeah. it's only because they still expect themselves to be uh, bad, mm. and that there would be repercussions. Honestly, for being bad, there are repercussions. Yeah. Right. So you don't want anybody knowing what you're doing. I mean, that's another. That's another thing. You know, when once you. Once, once a person is exposed, I, okay, I give you another example. To, I give you another example to the same thing. We'll, we'll take, we'll take DMing or i messaging, whatever. We'll take that out of it, right? Like same, same guys, right? Like I said, you know, ch chances are if they're attacked like that, they probably met each other's girlfriends and stuff like that. They probably done stuff together. You know what I'm saying? So there's still, there's still like opportunities for communication. You know, so the same shit could happen either way. You know what I'm saying? So it's like by that dynamic, I should just keep my girlfriend away from y'all completely. You know what I'm saying? And wear a hijab. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, honestly, I swear to God, like, I think, like, in certain, in certain instances, like, if you were, if you found yourself in a place where there was no rules or law and all men seem to be able to think they can do whatever they want. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like your woman's not safe. Yeah, hide your kids, hide your wife. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Right, but see here's the thing though. You know I mean? There's also a flip side to that coin. You know what I mean? Just how you was talking about, you know, guys locker room talk and all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Females even worse with the shit when they with each other, bro. They even worse with the shit when they're around each other. Have bro. you ever been in a group of females with not a single male there? Obviously not, because I'm a male there. Exactly. Right, but the thing about it is Females talk about the shit. Like, you know, some put the some put the shit out there that, you know, you know, what them and their girlfriends talk about when dudes not around and all that kind of shit. You know what I mean? People put it out there. Right, right. You know what I mean? Plus also, you know what I mean, like you, you know what I mean, I'm you know, a product of growing in a predominantly female household. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, because of that, you you gain a different, you know, insight and perspective, you know, for what that's worth. Seeing how groups of females that are constantly around each other interact, and sometimes the shit's ugly. Yeah, you know well, what I'm saying. Well, the, the, the strange thing, the strange thing that the thing that we don't really, that men don't really quite see, I think, and this is not specific. I don't know because I'm a man, right? Right, right, right. right. But like, women have something that men want. Men have more opportunities. To do things that maybe 
shady, dirty, maybe criminal activities, things like that. They just do. Women can do it too, mm -hmm. but men do like tend to gang up, group up, you know what I mean, build a little clique, you know what I mean, things like that for like criminal activities, just in general. Not completely. There's well, female gangs. Well, I yeah, get. shit, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you also have to remember part of what you're explaining is also a product of, you know, this, you know, from this country's inception being a predominant, like a male dominated society. Yeah, let's not break away. I know, but I'm just saying, well, go ahead. So, being that, that, that men have a higher capacity for having things about them that need to be kept secret. Okay. And women have something that men want beyond, uh, Beyond their 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 normal mortal intention, we have an instinct, okay. right? Mm -hmm. They can they can get you to say their secrets, and this is what women in politics do. Okay, you get in bed and you get the secrets, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Once you've got the secrets, you've got the clout. They are they're afraid to go against you. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Like Bobby Lee said to Kalila, he was like, "I can never fuck her over." Mm -hmm. Because she knows things about me. I'm guessing that was somebody that he used to date or something. He's still with her. Okay. Bobby Lee and Kalila. Tiger Belly. Okay. Tiger Belly, the podcast. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> you've seen it. You just don't know. You don't remember. Right. No, but I, I know the name Bobby Lee, but the, the girl. Like, yeah. I, I ain't never heard her name before. That's why I asked that question. Got you. Okay. Got you. Okay. Um, yeah, but he was like, there's things about me that mm -hmm. she knows. Yeah. And you know how she found them out? There's moments where he was just trying to be so tender because he was just trying to get, you know, and he was telling her his deepest, yeah. like, heart, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those moments where he was like, I will go all the way and tell you everything. Mm. Watch this. Blah, blah, blah. And she's just like, whoo! Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, holy shit, yeah, really? I, 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 know, I know exactly what he's talking about. And it's like, are you going to fucking stay with me now? And she's like, God damn, this is exciting, but yes. Mm -hmm. You know, it's terrifying, but yes. You know what I mean? These kind of things. Yeah, yeah. So, like... A woman now has all these secrets and all this stuff in her head, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. If she's going to go talk to other women to carry this to the full circle, if she's in a group of just women, yeah. I mean, that's the juicy. Those are the juicy topics. Yes, you know, like, and speaking of juicy, right? One of the most juiciest topics that that clicks of women do talk about is the dude that they fuck with their penis. They do it. They admit it. Yeah, I wasn't gonna go that. I wasn't gonna go that base level. I'm just saying. But it's true. And, but see, but see, you also have to understand that shit right there. They lie to each other for status on that. What, whether that's the case or not, it doesn't matter. Just the fact that they broach that subject matter right. sets a precedent to what you were talking about. You know what I'm saying about. You know, you know, should there be communication, all of that shit? You know what I'm saying because you know what I mean. You know. Like for, like, for example, like, for example, you know what I mean? Let's say Mary tells Josephine about the size of her husband's dick. Right. right. Now, she like, Josephine may never do anything with that, right? But who's to say sometimes Josephine is around him and it's just like... You, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. That's all I'm saying, you know? Now, here's... <laughs> That's here, all I'm saying. Here's, what, here's another dynamic, yeah, okay? Uh -huh. You got a group of six women... Right? All of them are different. Mm -hmm. You're going to have all different types of women. Mm -hmm. Now, one of those women is going to be like, I'll start on the low end, uh, uh, Miss Miss Little Pity Bot. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Little Pity Bot thought. She's over there like fucking, oh, I don't feel the, you know, my stomach hurts and, and my man's got a little dick. And it's like, you know, you just, everything just to make, you know, get pity, you know, yeah. so you can get status that way too because people will give you, they'll yeah. aim at you. Yeah. The big guys will aim at you and will make everybody aim at you because mm -hmm. it's like, why are the big guys focusing on her? Because yeah. she's, you know, look, um, look, look, her man's got yeah. a little micro penis. You know what I mean? It's a micro machine. He has got a micro Dot. You ever taken micro dot LSD? Like, <laughs> no. It's like a tiny little dot, and you put it on your tongue. Like, yeah, micro dot. <laughs> yeah, my got a micro dot. He got an Audi. He po basically got two po Audis. Po nigga. <laughs> you know what I mean? If he flipped upside down under the covers, you oh, wouldn't god. know if it was an Audi or his dick. Oh god. Let's not god, go damn. any farther. Yes, please don't. So Miss Pity, she's getting the pity, right? Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. talking about her man's dick like mm -hmm. it ain't nothing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Insecure. Mm -hmm. Is not telling you what her man's dick is. She doesn't want you to feel sorry for her. She doesn't want you to, to feel... Do you think only the insecure women would not want to disclose that? Not specifically. Okay, okay, go ahead. Go but ahead, go it's, ahead. It's, 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 
It's a generalization, okay, of go course, go but I love them. I love, they're the fun things to think about. Ideas are the greatest. Go for it. So uh, a girl in the, who's not going to want to tell anybody because she doesn't want you to think uh, that she wants big dick. She's conservative. She doesn't want, she wants you to think of her as a lady. She doesn't even want to discuss sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And then you got the girl on the other side who's like, well, I have my opportunity now to stunt. Mm -hmm. My boy has got the biggest dick out of all of y'all. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, he may not. She may be lying for status on that level. You know what I mean? Like, okay. but... That's another. That, that's just another example. Like the truths are not coming out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Necessarily, just because a bunch of women are around doesn't mean the secrets are getting out. Like uh, that's a fear of men too. Like, what do you talk about me to your friends and all that stuff? Like, and it's possible. Do you think the insecure man thinks that? Well, Only? no. Also, the introspective man. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's also okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go it can ahead. happen sure. on an introspective level, and it can thank happen. You, thank you for saying that. Go ahead. Yeah, it can also happen on a it can in an, on an insecurity level, mm -hmm. but insecurities can be well founded. Insecurities don't have to be negative. I agree. I agree. Right. For certain things, but yeah. Right. If I'm grabbing the fucking stone and I'm climbing the mountain and I'm on three secure points and this one's not secure. Yeah. It's not a shame of mine. Right, right, right. It just means yeah, I need... I'm testing that ledge. I'm not sure right. if it'll support me. And remember, you're not dead. You still got three points of fucking security. Right. Good you, analogy. You are on your, on your path. Any insecurity you have, just reroute, right? And, and, and use it as a, as, a, as a learning tool. Yeah. A teaching, a teaching moment. Right. Something yeah, yeah. that you can remember and say, that's an insecurity I have. Why? Okay. And it usually leads you inside, and most people can't get to the core depth of what their issues are, mm. but it'll help you. All right, so keep, so keep it going. The insecure man questioning what his lady friends might talk about to each other. Yeah, that's definitely something that that men have, I, at least I have had that problem with. Because here's the deal. You want a relationship that's going to, that's going to work. And as... As myself, personally, as an artist, as a Libra, mm -hmm. I like things around me to be aligned and beautiful. Not even perfect, you know what I mean? But mm -hmm. to me, mm -hmm. aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, I got you. Hence, feng, my, hence my little... The feng shui, if you will. Exactly. Got you. That being said, when I hang up the... Like, I look at a, I look at a new relationship as a pristine statue. Got you. Right? And every little fuck over that you guys do to each other yeah. is a piece. It starts to damage the statue. Right. It's I like the you. arrow does, the tip broke off the mm -hmm. arrow. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. and, and that to me is just a tragedy. I see the pristine beauty of the statue that we have. Yeah. And I think, man, it's breaking apart. Yeah. But at the same moment, I can see myself 90 years down the road on my deathbed like with this tiny stone in my hand and people are like what's that stone mm. it's the base and the foot of the statue that we had and I still hold it sacred because yeah. it's all that's left of the statue yeah I feel you know I feel so that's that's another way to look at it to not fear losing purity people get afraid they're like man you cheated on me damn it yeah now I don't have a relationship that consists of me and a woman and we've never cheated right right but see but see for for people that are of that mindset, for them using the statue as an analogy, the foundation is completely cracked from the middle. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you know, for I, mean, go, I hate to use gorilla glue as an example because that can physically uh -huh. that can physically fix a statue. Gorilla glue your love, baby. <laughs> right. Like you know what I'm saying? That can physically fix a statue. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Like, but what would be the 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 gorilla glue in the analogy for you know, taking taking that damage from knowing that you that your trust has been betrayed. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. What's it's the gorilla like, glue for that? It's like literally somebody putting gorilla glue in your hair. Yeah. Poor thing. Poor girl, man. That poor girl. And I, I was thinking she had to have some surgery or something. Yeah, because people were all saying, "Oh, it'll grow out of like once it gets out of like a centimeter, you'll yeah. be able to just cut it. shave yeah. under it." Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was glued to her scalp. It has, yeah, and it's literally like, like sealed shut the follicles. All right, so yeah, so lesson for the day on V Day: Gorilla glue is not for your hair. Right, it's not for anything. Like I seen somebody with one of these, <laughs> with one of these droppers, 
of Gorilla Glue, <laughs> and it was like, oh, I ran out of eyedroppers. <laughs> yeah, Gorilla Glue's not for your eyes either. Hey, the the world of memes. I'm telling you, like, imagine savagery, like, bro. Imagine like the aliens come and they're like, man, this society has diminished to like such pathetic levels. Yeah. But the memes, though, right. you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and the aliens are up there just like laughing at our memes, like because because oh, humans, man, you gotta put a satellite over there just for that. We're so ridiculous, humans. You know what I mean? Like, think about like, yo, yo, think about this. What if the aliens came and took over, right? And like, rather than exterminating, they decided, you know what? No, fuck this. We this this is what we see is gonna work. We're taking over and we're putting in charge the meme lords. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna oh, go. Other, I thought you were gonna go another place. No man, just that. Like, what if the aliens came down here because this was the only place where you could find something like a good something to fuck? Okay. Because they're all like alien monsters, and every you know, there's not and and they see like our women, and they're like, dang, it's like soft, no shell. You know what I mean? Like, it's like just a soft shellless being with a fucking like with holes. Yeah, I can just. Okay, where are you going with that? I, you know, happy Valentine's Day, aliens. Aliens, Valentine's don't, yeah, Day. Yeah, don't fuck our women, aliens. Right, right, right. No, no, no. Well, I don't know if they would differentiate between men and women. Okay, They would well, just come down and hit Okay, well, off. okay, well, to, to the whole point. Aliens, no fucking over here. No, no, no. <laughs> no. That's, not that, that's the Dikembe Mutombo. No, no, no. <laughs> that's my favorite. Hey. I heard this conversation once, man, on the bus that had me cracking up. It was like, I'm not going to do it. And he was like, no. And he was like, no, 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 no. Were they, were they Hispanic? No. No, it was African, dude. No shit. Yeah. It was just like, no. Right. That's no. the only word. Like, no. really? I'm like, really? What they're saying is really? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? 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 Like, are you, are you, at, some, really? at some point, you're going to get past that? <laughs> <laughs> like, when are you going to cross that bridge? They hit that, no, 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 no. I was in the back. No, 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 It brought, it, it, hey, it brought so much creativity to my life because I'm in the back of the bus being like, no, no, no. You stupid. No. Did somebody, like, were you doing no. it loud enough to be heard? No. No, I'm not. I wasn't. You should have. You probably would have made people start laughing. Yeah, but in my head, it's like, I'm just going through that in my head, and I'm like, man, that's something that's valuable, right? For it's... for people of for people of the racist mm -hmm. racism and and the like class politics genre to take that away from me sucks. To be like, no, you can't think that way because you're white. You don't, don't you dare say woo. What? No. You know what I mean? I mean, but see, you're just recreating what you heard. It feels that's good. It. it feels good on my larynx to say it like that. To be like. Like, I chased a lion into the desert and threw my spear into the sun. It just feels you good. You modifaka. How right. could you say that like that? What is wrong with you? We talk like that. You don't. Stop it. You insulting me. Okay. Okay. Just stop. See. But see, I cannot stop because you did it again. No, 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 no. You did it again. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. We're gonna get. Hey, love me. Don't cancel me. Just, just embrace me. <laughs> Take me into your loving embrace and say it's okay, son. You can be African. You stupid. Well, like you know, but, they, but see, then you gotta hit him with. But we're all from there anyway, right? You're like my brother. T thank you. <clears throat> thank you for reminding me. Yes, my brother, come with me. Right, right. And then it's all good. And people have always, a lot of people have accused me of, uh, like, wanting to be black or hanging out with too many black, like, some people in my family, and I'm not going to name names, okay. you know what I mean, have been like, I got something for that, go ahead. Right? And and to my, my response is, you know what, like, I don't want to be black, I want to be fucking Nigerian. I want to be full <laughs> on African. I want what? to be able to run barefoot through the desert and it doesn't hurt my feet. What? I want to fucking, I want to just stand still and just bounce like to the ceiling. Just... 
Oh, have, oh, have those have those for that forty eight inch vertical. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I don't have that shit. I mean, could I jump up and touch the ceiling? Sure, but not with my head. Right, that's I'm why I don't. That, I'm not that gifted. I want to be full on African. So. I mean, but bro, 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 but see, bro, fuck that though, man. Cause you got some white dudes that got some fucking hops, man. I don't care. I'm just saying. And I don't really want to be anything but myself. I love right. myself, who I am. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just uh, that's my answer to a stupid question. A stupid answer. Yeah, but see, I got something you know too. I got something too that though, because this is one of the things that I always vouch for you when I speak of you to people. Um, even more so when they ask about you to me for whatever reason. You know what I'm saying? And I tell them this. One of, one of the reasons why I fuck with you, being a white dude, having been surrounded by niggas for so long, you always were you. You know what I'm saying? You always were you. Like, couldn't nobody sit up here and question, oh, is he trying to be a wiggle or any of that shit? You understand what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, motherfuckers can look at you and see you not trying to do that. Right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? And that's just the, vis the visual representation. I the think fuck? I think also it's the level of depth of immersion. Because, I, I mean, just from a fucking observing standpoint, just from an observatory standpoint, yeah. the white guys that I saw that were as submerged in the non-white culture as me mm. became the quote-unquote wiggers i feel you you know what i mean yeah. and how come you can say wigger with a hard r and it's okay for every everybody's fine with that right yeah. hey don't say wigger with a hard r man so wigger i'm a wigger nigga like that you know what i'm saying yeah i feel you now nah, but see but look to, to wrap that shit up i'll put it to you just like this you know what i'm saying anybody got something different to say about it you can come fucking see me on the shit this is me saying this no, 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 I'm gonna get this out. If you got a problem you. with this shit, come see me on this shit. Hey. That's my nigga. He get a pass hey. with me. That's my nigga. Uh, hey, he. No. I'm I not. said what I said. Uh, That's I'm my his, nigga. I'm his friend. That's my nigga. And then, you know, you translate however you want. I'm not gonna argue with his translations of the language. Look, that, that's, that's nigga saying that shit. You know what I'm saying? I's nigga, and I say that shit like that. That's my nigga. Anybody got something different to say about that shit? Holla at your boy. We can have a discussion. And it can be it can be productive. You know what I'm saying? You can say your piece on I ain't gonna get mad at you and shit, but it's not gonna change my feelings on it at all. I'm just gonna put that out there. That's my nigga. Pots and pans. Hey man, thank you very much. This is a very lovely Valentine's episode. God damn it. God <laughs> fucking damn it. <laughs>